Hello friends, I'm Veronica Mee from Mee Paintings and today I will be pouring on this old canvas which is quite boring and I would like to re-pour these beautiful colors on it but actually when I look at it this color combination looks nice but I don't I won't be putting any teal in there just this permanent violet mauve then I've got my Indian yellow and also cadmium yellow. I think these four colors will match beautifully together and at the beginning I would like to show you how I mix my colors. I buy this in local art shop but I'm sure if you search online um, you'll be able to find them somewhere or different brand. Use whatever brand you like. These are quite fluid so I have to put like 50% of pouring medium and 50% of acrylic colors. If they are too watery, then you would have to add just a little bit of pouring medium, but these are quite okay for, for fluid art. Oh, sorry, the sun just came and probably you won't be able to see it properly, but hopefully this is like, I would say maybe 20 milliliters of my color and then I'll add another 20 milliliters of pouring medium. And as a pouring medium, I use this clear PVA glue, I think is this, yeah, that's the bottle. Uh, I buy this in local local paper shop. Um, you can use whatever PVA glue you find, I think, Elmer's glue or other brands. And I mix 60% of PVA glue and 40% of water. But if you've got different brand, you might have to use different ratio. This is what I use and this creates my pouring medium. So it's like 50-50, one to one, and then I mix it up very well. It has to be mixed properly. Yep, like this. This is the right consistency for my colors. Perfect. And I also have got this white mixed here and this is also one to one. One part of acrylic colors and one part of pouring medium. I buy this type of white. I use quite a lot of white so I always buy these big boxes of white. And what I'm going to do before pouring, I will add two drops of silicone oil in each color, even in my white. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I also buy this in local art shop. I'm sure if you search online, you'll be able to find some silicone oil for pouring art. So mix it up a little bit, not too much. Oh, and also in my white. Oh, there was three drops, but it's okay. Two or three drops will be fine. Let's take my big cup and I pour some white on the bottom here. And then I'm gonna start with the darkest color. So I pour my violet and I'm gonna keep a little bit for later on because I want to put some dark colors on the top of my cup as well. So that was permanent violet. Then I've got my mauve. Beautiful color and these two creates such a beautiful shade. Let's keep a little bit of that. Then let's pour some white in these. Then I've got my orange here. And I'm going to put all of it there. Orange. Well, actually it's called Indian yellow, but I call it orange. <laughs> and then my yellow right in the middle. Because I want my colors to mix nicely. I know these colors are quite bright, but they should mix into nice shades. So let's pour also some white here. I want them to mix nicely. And then again my mauve. All of 
love it in there. My purple. Permanent violet, sorry. And white on the top of everything. Now all of it. Okay, time for a little magic. So, ready, steady, go. So all of these colors mixed in my big cup. Ready, steady. Wow, such a beautiful mixture of colors. Let's get this out of my cup. I don't want to waste any colors. And I can start slowly tilting it and cover the whole canvas with my beautiful color combination. Okay, let's use my heat gun and create magic. I'm using this type of heat gun on off and it's very hot, be careful with it. So it will help me to pop these cells. Just a little bit because I know that these cells will grow into bigger ones. It looks like a starry night. And look at them, look at the beautiful color combinations. I love these cells. And here comes the fun part. I'm gonna use my balloon and create beautiful structures for my bubbles or flowers. I don't know, I will decide later on. And I'm gonna start in the middle and create a beautiful pattern. So I'm just gonna Put one in the middle and see how that looks. Look at that, that's perfect. That's absolutely amazing background for my bubble. So I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna like put it, I'm gonna clean it and put it maybe one here. Another one, that's so beautiful. I love this color combination. Another one here. Smaller ones. Let's use the this one. Beautiful, I love these structures and cells. I'm gonna let this dry for about a week and then I'm gonna show you what to do next. So my pour is dry, it turned out beautifully. I love all these cells and balloon kisses and now it's time to turn this into beautiful 3D piece. And for that, again, I'll be using my yogurt cups and I start by painting these nice circles and I try to choose these nice spots for my bubbles. I use whiteboard marker because I can easily um, wipe it off when I make a mistake. So I'm gonna paint all these circles and then continue turning it into 3D piece.
So all circles are finished now and yeah, choose the spots which are really nice and it will create a beautiful background for your bubbles. And now I'm going to fill all these spaces with black acrylic color because that's what adds the 3D effect into my pore. So I use this type of black. Wow. Somebody went really fast. They shouldn't. Quite dangerous, never mind. Um, yeah, so I use this uh, type of black and you can use whatever brand you like, whatever black you prefer. So I've got all these brushes, different sizes, and I'm gonna work on the black parts with these types of brushes. So this is how it looks, all covered with black. And now I'm going to show you how to paint beautiful 3D bubbles. Let's choose a nice one, maybe this one. And I'm going to paint it with black and white acrylic color. This top part will be black, bottom part will be white. And it creates a nice 3D effect. So I've I've got this blending brush, size 11, but you can use whatever brush you like. I already put my brush in water and now I'm just gonna paint this top part with black. like this then I put my brush in water again and I try to blend this black color so it creates nice shade on my bubble try to make these edges quite thin at the end because it's a it's a place where you'll be connecting the white part. With the, sometimes if you've got different brand than I, then it could be hard to blend these colors. I'm using this one, the same which I used for my background. I buy this in local art shop. I'm sure you can order that somewhere online or even some other brands are good and yep just blend it nicely don't leave that edge too sharp try to blend it so it creates nice shade Now white, I'm using this type of white, titanium white. It's a different brand, but it also works well. I've got the same brush. I put it in water. Now I'm gonna paint this bottom part with white. Again, I put my brush in water and then try to blend my white. Mm. 
a little bit more white here on the bottom And when my black is dry, I use acrylic paint marker and create or paint this reflection on the top of my watch drop or bubble, I like this. Easy peasy and maybe a little here as well, yep, like that. My first bubble is done and I'm going to continue painting the rest of my bubbles and show you the finished result. Now it's time to paint reflections on all of my bubbles. So it's easy peasy. Just my acrylic marker has got tip like this and I just paint a little line here on the top. Like that and maybe another one, a little one here and a little dot like that and it adds that beautiful shine inside of my bubble and some of them are hidden so there will be just a little line here and maybe also down here And last step is adding shadows underneath my water drops. So I always put my brush in water, put a little bit of that black on my brush and I try to create a nice shade underneath each bubble. I put my brush back in water and I try to blend this black so it creates a nice bigger shade. And here's the result of my water drop acrylic pour. You can have so much fun with this technique and create such a unique piece of art which looks like it's 3D. It's like bubbles are on the top of each other. And I love this pour which is perfect background for my art. 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel where you can see many more interesting videos. You can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.